Oh wow, somebody died already, are you kidding me? They've only just moved in. Oh, there's another dead person. It's contagious. I've got two Krems here, and a hospital, and people are dying. Straight after moving in. Like, seriously? Why are there dead people down here as well? They've got Krems, watch. <laughs> look at the population. Minus one, look at that. Minus 1,500. Minus 1,500. I've never seen it that bad. What the? Look at this. Just full on ripperoonie. That is actually insane. Oh, that's great, that is. That's great. So the crematorium's crime rate is high. And he's right next to... Look at that. He's right next to the police headquarters. Look at that. I like how we've got the dramatic thunder. <laughs> that is absolutely... Oh, man. Talk about themed. The lightning, the thunder, and just like a thousand people dying. So the maximum we've had is minus 1500 population. We're currently on minus 346. Okay, time to lose some money. Let's try and clear this mess up. Rip money. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It used to be quite okay, and then all of a sudden it's just as going roller coaster of love. Look at this. This is what I've had to put up with. Look at the state of that. Okay, so according to this, if things continue as they always did, we'll be down to less than 70k. But if the mod starts working, then that one should start to rise, and we won't get below 70 if that trend continues. I don't get what happened. What what was it? Hang on. I, when we got to about here, I wonder if that's the time when I unlocked the ability to make high density stuff, and that's when this the whole thing magnified. Look at the state of that. That graph exactly follows the negative version of this. Can you see that? As the as the death rate increases, the birth rate increases as well. So the the, the kind of graphs do this. So bizarre. Look at that. That's just fell off a cliff. Mini death wave. Look at this. Here's the thing, right? We've got a mini death wave going on up here, and yet the population was actually still increasing then. And now it seems to have flattened out. Look at that. 88 down to 84. Like the swing now is 4K rather than 20K. So it does appear to be actually working, that mod. Right, so now I think we can build the monument, can't we? Look, the fusion power plant. Cost one million, one million euros. Power output 16,000 megawatts. The power of the stars within your grasp and the energy problems of yesterday are gone once the fusion power plant is operational. Offers huge amounts of clean energy without the fear of radioactive fallout or other pollution. 8,000 per week. So apart from the million outlay, it costs, and it costs 8000 per week. That costs 7300 per week and chucks out 500 megawatts. That chucks out 500 megawatts. And one of these guys chucks out 16,000 megawatts. Wow. Just wow. So basically, we can get rid of any, anything else that produces electricity and replace it with that. That's what we're saying here, with that single monument. <laughs> Pure clean energy and, and no other... Yeah, that's amazing. We drop it in like this. And then... Oh my god. Look at that. Is that how you get fusion power? Do you, do you basically just take a spinning ball? Is that how you make endless energy? And of course, when you build a fusion power plant, it's very important to colour it bright cyan so that everybody knows you've got one. I bet our electricity availability has just gone absolutely 
through the flipping roof. Look at that. In fact, I re reckon we can cut down the budget to minimum. Look at that. It doesn't make any difference anymore. <laughs> uh, have you had anyone moan about too much YouTube content? It's it's going to happen, Jimmy. Um, somebody moaned this morning because there wasn't a video. <laughs> but I've, the thing is, like, I'm going to be away for um, I'm going to be away for a week, so I have to sort of pace myself and make sure there's content that can go out when I'm away. So. So that's a bit close, isn't it? I need to um, I need to make sure I don't put out too much. I think we'll leave that. We'll build on the inside instead. Yeah, so uh, I'm I'm kind of trying to get enough to do Monday to Friday this week and next week. That's my goal. If I can get that, I'll be happy. Okay, my PC just blue screened. Do you know what the worst thing about that is? I don't know when I last saved it, so we're now relying on a... Um, Auto save. I'm sitting there going, why is the uh, screen not moving? Boom. Well, people are not going to move in while we've got a death wave on our hands. Not. Bang, 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 bang. This is what I have to put up with all the time. Oh, you've almost reached 120,000. Well, now you're on 90. <laughs> Thanks, game. Rip City. Seriously, flying gas mask. In about 15 minutes time, <laughs> you'll be like, it'll just be prosperous again. It's something that we've had in this city since the year Dartlock. And despite that mod, it's not really flattened it out that much. In other words, to attract tourists, maybe put it in the tourist area, Captain Flint. I agree, that's the more sensible thing to do. I completely agree with that, but this just looks amazing. <laughs> But yeah, I hear you. They can always get the train up here. Beam me up. Oh my god, look at the look at the zone on that. Look at that. The range was out here. Wow. Now tell me nobody wants to live here now. They live next to the space elevator with a view like this. Are you serious? Why would you not live here? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is this? You want me? Where are they going? The, the station's here. Is this going to stop? What the heck is going on? Where are they these people are disappearing down the wrong station. This looks so weird. Okay, I did not anticipate this. I did not <laughs> did not know this was going to happen. Where are they actually going? Yeah, they're, they're getting on the platform, look. Oh god, there's nothing coming here. Pause it. I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think anything stops here. All those people are getting the space elevator going underground and going, so where's the trains? <laughs> A driving range? <laughs> what about this? Imagine the driving range, but without the net. And then you can just have people... Oh, can you imagine a driving range here? And then we put houses down there, and you can be like, right, Jeff, I'll bet you ten quid you can't land a ball in number 21's back swimming pool from here. You'd be like, right then, come on, let's do this. Like, whack. <laughs> you could have such fun up here with a driving range. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Why does it... Wait, what? Why does it dip here? I flattened this entire area out. That doesn't make any sense. Look at it. The car park's completely subsided. <laughs> Do 
Okay, that area is completely level. It's spirit level flat. Look at that. It's like a billiard board. Good luck getting water and power, though. Dude. Easy. And then we're going to try and cut the mountain back. Oh my god. Game plus. What the heck? That's not quite what I had in mind here. Why is it still doing crazy step downs? Did I just see something going over the field? Guess who's back? Back again. Look, he's like, this place has changed since the last time I was here. I remember when all this was nothing but trees and fields. And now I can live in a car park. Fire hydrant hype. Hey, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. There's a voice. Keeps on calling me. It is the littlest hobo. Oh, That guy's cool. <gasps> He's got... What the heck? How can you just be not... Wow. Wild animals and people... Did you see that woman? She just got back from the shop and she didn't even see the predator. Wait, what did you... What the heck? That thing just... Don't you run away from me. That thing just metamorphosized into a flipping... What is going on here? This makes no sense. I can't believe how, how the people are just not even bothered. That's just weird, man. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I've got people walking to the metro and back and they're passing wild animals and they're not even but like a cougar. This woman just walked past a cougar. And she's not actually bothered. There you go. You better not bounce too hard, though. Otherwise, you're going to end up down that hill. Look. I think there's Dre and Steve are inside. I'm not making them walk far. They've got a pedestrian crossing here. They can just walk safely across the road and go inside the bouncy castle. They're having fun. Look at this, they've got an ice cream logo. Wait, what? Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Look at the top of the Hall of Moderation. A squirrel on top of a donut. I have no words. A squirrel on top of a donut spinning round on top of the Hall of Moderation. Who wrote this? This is a bouncy castle. Look at this! Yeah, I'm calling hacks on that, Jimster. We need Renault trucks. Why do we need Renault trucks? It's quite a long drop down that hill. Wow, I'm down to 85k and I still can't get rid of the death wave. What the heck is going on? That's an insane death wave I'm having. Whoa. What the heck? I've never seen a drop that big in the entire history of Los Schmackos. Look at that! The research makes the other health care better. I still don't agree with you. I'm going to turn them all off and see what number I've got left. We're going to figure this out. 
Rip City, maybe. I like how you're hedging your bets, though, Adam. <laughs> like, no matter which way this goes, I'm going to be right. <laughs> I turned off the fire station. Oops. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that, and we're going to keep our eye on this. Someone died at Mod Holland Park. You need to go and look, Jay Spence. Dun, dun, dun. I know what it was. Nobody died. I know what happened. You know the police car that visited the sauna? He planted the body. That's what he did. <gasps> There's a fire at the sauna? There's a fire at the sauna. Oh my god. There's no way they're going to get a fire engine up here in time. Oh, there he goes. And he's gone the wrong way. 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 Oh, here he goes. Right, so there's no chance of the dead body going because there's already about 100,000 lying around. Save our sauna. Come on, fire truck. You can do it, bro. Rushing to fire at the sauna. I reckon it'll burn down before he gets there. They got plenty of water at the sauna. You'd have thought they could put the fire out. Oh my god, it is absolutely... Get out of the way, tram. Look at the state of the fire. And they sent one engine for this. Come on, put the fire out, bro. There's absolutely nothing left. This is going to need a bit of paint afterwards. A bit of redecoration is going to happen. I tell you what, if that fire engine can put that fire out and make that look good again, I'll be amazed. The fire's out, guys. It's okay, we're back in business. Operating normally. Imagine people are still coming into this charcoal wreck of a sauna. <laughs> like, they're still just going in there. That is fantastic. Wow, look at it. Look at it. It's basically coming back to normal. That's amazing. It's got a special aroma now. Mmm, smoky barbecue. Yeah, so just to confirm, right, just to confirm, I turned off every hospital and every medical facility. I turned them all off. And if you look, there are no sick citizens in the entire city, and the average health is 100%. And all I needed to do that was to set my budget to 100% on the health car, and have the medical centre. That's it. So, just to confirm, you do not need... You do not need hospitals or medical centres anymore. There you go. So, that was the crash. That was the boom. What's going to happen now? Is it going to sort of squish down a bit? Or is it going to carry on doing this? Who knows? So today, my population hit 124. Then it went all the way down to 80. And now it's back at 120 again. Was the flight good, Connor? The flight there was great. Uh, took off very early in the morning. Got the sunrise. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful flight. The flight back was at night. And, well, let's put it this way. The flight back... Get this. So on the way there, it's a Ryanair flight. And we're flying to Germany. And it was crewed by a German crew. Right? On the way back, it was a Ryanair flight flying from Germany to the UK and it was crewed by a Spanish crew including Spanish pilots and the guy who was like the the head uh, crew you could only stand up understand about three quarters of what he was saying even though he's speaking English you couldn't understand what he was saying for two reasons one his accents and the second thing he basically ate the phone as he was talking like he put it in his mouth it was like <laughs> like this and you're thinking dude what are you doing but that wasn't the best thing. The best thing was, this Spanish pilot, when he landed at Stansted, like, if I was, 
If I'd a, if I'd have landed like that in a simulator, I'd have gave myself two out of ten. He he effectively floated it, and then he planted it into the runway. And because he'd floated it, he then went full on the brakes, and we were like, like this. And my only thought was, oh my god, I bet you've overheated those brakes, something nasty. And then after he'd basically hit the brakes so hard, he then almost J turned into the taxi. I was thinking to myself, yeah, dude, that was not a good landing. <laughs> so the flight back was nowhere near as good as the flight there. Okay, why do you not want to line up in a straight line? That's pretty weird. What the? How can that be okay? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How is that okay? <laughs> That's just weird. Oh god, they're flooded, look. They're flooded. Yep. This is the thing about Skylines is the water is so weird and it takes a long time to settle down. But that water up there is pushing the water level back this way. Rip a Rooney. Oh no, the ice cream van's underwater. Oh my god. <laughs> just walking along. It's a tsunami. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh, this is bad. This is serious. Look at this. They're all waiting at the bus stop. They're not even bothered by like a meter of water just going by. Look, this is brilliant. Hey. How are we enjoying the, <laughs> the wait for the bus? That is absolutely awesome. Oh my god. This kid just dancing in the water. That guy's car is amazing. Hmm. Oh. See, see what I mean? The water's just going somewhere else now. It's so weird, the water table. And it just disappears. Go figure. Pause it, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's not A. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. It's buying them all. It's bought them all. Oh my god. I now have an insane amount of land to build on. Look at this. It's just pushed it back to here. Which is quite literally the edge of the map. <laughs> Look at that for a valley. Look at that. That's a crazy valley, that is. Wow. I don't know what to do now. I've got so much space. This is, this is insane. Because this here is... Look at this. This is lovely around here. This needs to be built on. It's a lovely river. That needs to have stuff. I don't know what. Maybe residential up here. Yeah, residential would make a lot of sense here. What is that? Whoa. Like some forgotten, disused industrial building. You what, mate? This is like some kind of World War I relic. What's all that is about? <laughs> right, if we have that as residency up there. Wait, look at this. This changes the, the whole thing. Because I've built over to here and I couldn't go this way, whereas now I can go this way. All the way up to this kind of national monument here. I don't know what you could have here. I was thinking about having a, a marina thing going on there. I was also going to connect over there, but do we even need to anymore? I don't know. This changes everything. <laughs> I don't even know what to build here. I feel overfaced. <laughs> There's too much choice now. Oh my god. So meanwhile, over this thing, what have we got over there? Look at this. Wow, I like that. I like the way that carved through that valley. That's nice. What the heck? 
Who builds roads like that? That looks like, I don't know, Railroad Tycoon Autogen. Transport Tycoon Autogen. And then this? <laughs> this massive lake. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Little lighthouse and everything. That's brill. Oh, hello. Hello. Mayday. Mayday. We have a gridlock situation. Oh dear. We've got all these coming in from the outside. Look at this. Oh my god. Why have I got so many flipping tourist trains coming in? I think it's just the sheer volume of trains the game is throwing on this line. Look at this. You don't put trains on a line like this. They're not even spaced out. The game has put so many in that they're just one at a time leaving the map. And then they keep stopping and then leaving the map. What's going on? Sometimes trains can get stuck in the map portal like it's a bug you've seen. I think that's what's going on. <laughs> they want to go to Disney Orlando. Yeah, I can remove the traffic. I can click I can click this and just boom, all the traffic's gone. But is the bug gonna come back or is it just a now and again thing? The game spawned these two. Let's just see what happens with these guys. Transporting passengers to the underground train station. Alright, let's see where this guy goes. Right, he's gone a completely different way. Is he going to go here? Wait, what? There's no... What? Where the heck is he going? See, this is bugging me. Why has he gone that way? Is he going to this station? Yeah, he's gone here. You know, because tourists love to come to <laughs> the industrial part of my city <laughs> just to visit. Right, okay, so for some reason, for some reason, this <laughs> this train station, where's it gone? Here? Oh, passenger service five, but they're all tourists, and they're all coming in on that line. And I have no idea why. First thing tourists want to see in a new city is Ikea. Well, right now the tourists want to come here and visit the uh, Orlando. They've heard there's a Disneyland here and a theme park and stuff. And they're bitterly disappointed when they get out the station. And they're like, whoa, what the heck is this? <laughs> see, look, the passenger lines are still here. Because they're now going to that station and then back out that way. It's just ridiculous. Hopefully, what we'll now do is they'll go that way to that station and then turn around and come back that way. And won't go anywhere near this cargo line. You don't need that link between cargo line and passenger line. Or this one. That completely stops them from doing it. <laughs> Let's try that. And hopefully this thing won't get... Comp oh my god, look. I don't know. I, I think it's something to do... When somebody said it's a bug, I think it's this thing. I think it's a space elevator. It it's generating so many... Tor like, it's either that, or... Because my land value is so high. Yeah? All the tourists are flocking here. So what the game's doing is it's generating so many trains with tourists on them, it's flooding my network with them, and it can't despawn them quickly enough. Look at this. It's just, like, I have no control over this. It feels like the problem is the rate that it can get rid of these trains. Because if you actually watch what happens at the end of this map here... Ah, look. What the heck is that? Why is there a, why is there a crisscross piece? I just saw something weird then. Look at that. That's the problem right there. Oh my god. These guys are getting to the edge of the map, stopping and then turning around. Watch this. What? What the heck is going on? So, hang on, a cargo train gets there and it despawns. 
a passenger train gets there and it basically turns around and goes back thing is you can't even build these that piece though you can't even build that how do you turn so the trains don't need to stop at the map edge I think that's the the game though is because they're touristic trains that's what they do they go to the edge of the map and are dealt with like if we was to look at passengers on this 10 let's see what happens so he's going to Lake Valley now he's got 240 passengers and he's coming back again and now he's going back to the underground do you see what's going on this is the game mechanic effectively there's a virtual train station here an invisible one that we can't see they stop here, they deboard, they board again, and then they turn around and go back. But this virtual station is taking so long because there are far too many trains on the track. The problem is the game has put too many trains on my line. That's the real issue here. Do I have any passenger train stations? I do. Here. Which is meant to bring people to work. <laughs> and instead, tourist trains are stopping here. This is the madness of it. This is gridlock. Right, okay. Let, let's try this. Here we go. I'm going to just go boom. And let's see what happens now. Rip. Rip. <laughs> see, look, my cargo can't get anywhere either. This is the main problem. By disconnecting that thing there, where are my cargo trains going to go now? Right, here we go. Let's see where this guy goes. Transporting cargo to the cargo hub. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's doing a U-turn. He's going that way now. He's going a very, very long way off the map now, I think. Unless he's actually stopping at this hub down here. He is as well. Look, he's going to the, um, the docks. <laughs> so that's interesting. They can actually get the cargo out that way instead of the edge of the map. So the cargo network is intact. I bet he's doing the same. Yep. That's, that's problem solved in a way. By disconnecting that, we don't get the tourists.